Why do people still spend a lot on eating out food even if they're broke? There's a Greek expression that translates into, poverty demands a good time, this is that. Because sometimes that cheeseburger is the only good thing that's gonna happen to me today. I work 12 hours a day in the Texas heat. I do not feel like cooking a meal when I get off. I feel like laying down and doing nothing. Aside from my own experience. I think it's proven that the more tired you are, the harder it is to resist temptation and make good decisions. Depression A man's gotta eat, Julian. While some people can really be irresponsible with their money some of the harsher comments on. Posts like these seem to be coming from people who don't know what poverty really feels like. Sometimes you don't cook because you work such long hours that you don't have time to get groceries and prepare something. Many people are so deep into poverty-induced depression that the small joy of eating something other than ramen noodles for every meal is the only thing to keep you going. And when you are deep in debt it can start to feel like it doesn't make a difference to keep digging yourself deeper. It's not a smart decision, but with the state of the economy, in the US at least, it's a shame we can't show more compassion. A lot of people try to justify it because they might not have much time to prepare meals or grocery shop, especially as places like Walmart aren't open 24-7 anymore. I think people also do it because it makes them happy too even if it's not good financially in the long run. It's fun to leave the house. And fun to eat in new places surrounded by people. Especially if you're with friends. And if you hate cooking or cleaning dishes it's a respite from it. For some, it's also the only fun thing they spend money on. Eating is a necessity as well so it's easy for people to consider it a necessary expense even. Though there are much cheaper ways to go about it. Your favorite takeout meal or even just a $5 6 inch sub from Subway can be comforting when you have a hard day. I want you to imagine eating nothing but cheap ass ramen and canned foods 3x a day. Every day for months on end. I know this is hard for middle class people to understand but poor people deserve nice things too. I have a massive Uber Eats problem and for me personally it comes down to these main things. 1. I have depression and ADHD and cooking is a massive undertaking for me. 2. I work full time like lots of other broke people and do not have the time. Or more accurately do not want to spend an hour cooking and cleaning when I get home exhausted. 3. I live in Australia and we are currently having a cost of living crisis and groceries are ridiculously expensive. 4. I don't spend money on literally anything else. I don't buy clothes or any other items. 5. Life sucks and I want yummy food. I want to cook more. But honestly I look at the cost, time factor and sometimes it really is cheaper to just buy a rice bowl or takeout and have a well-made hot meal ready for me with no effort. Rather than spend 40 minutes making a terrible meal only to have to then clean up and have a bunch of random ingredients left over that'll go off. ADHD. I know there are very simple meals for cheap but good god I am sick of packet ramen. Eating out is immediately gratifying and makes you feel like you're part of society. Long-term financial planning is lonely and scary. And for young'uns in our current, odd, nefarious housing market economy where lousy houses in somewhat desirable houses cost half a million dollars. It may be what they need to feel like they can keep going. It is a form of entertainment when you can not do anything else. I know I am there. Gets you out of the house. Their logic is usually the $20 they spend won't be enough to cover the bill they can't afford anyway. Which is true. It's actually a skill to know and learn how to budget. Be frugal etc. 
Cooking is a skill that some people just have absolutely no interest in. If the motivation isn't there they don't actually try and if you ruin a meal you're cooking your screwed. Burnt pancakes are not really satisfying. Lol. And it's different for single people than a family too. If I'm only feeding myself and spend $100 on groceries every week or $100 on eating out it's a wash. But that same $100 could feed a family on groceries but the eating out becomes way more expensive. I just threw out a number. The thing most don't understand about being poor is you don't have the upfront money to spend on more expensive things that will last longer. When living paycheck to paycheck you can only afford the $10 now not the $20 to buy enough to last longer. Buying in bulk is not an option but it is way cheaper than not. Being poor is a whole different ball game. If you really want to understand it take a few weeks where you only allow yourself a set amount of money to make your bills, food, gas etc. Give yourself the $40 bucks a week for groceries and that's all you get. The rest goes into savings. But see how long you can handle it and how your mindset changes. Likely they view it as an affordable luxury. Cause food is good. When you are poor, tasty food is the only luxury you can sorta afford. It's a relief to not have to figure out a meal from what's in the cupboard. Especially since that probably means the same cheap meal you've made a thousand times because it's affordable and quick. Eating out is such an inherently satisfying indulgence when at home all you got is ramen or whatever. Look, Brenda, if we're having a hard time making ends meet we're probably working two jobs. There are only 24 hours I am a day and I have to sleep at some point so. Value menu at Wendy's it is. Leaves me more time to cry myself to sleep before I repeat my personal hell every day thereafter. Until I die. Small pleasures are small pleasures. We should not judge. One day we may be in their shoes. I certainly am. Poor college student. You take pleasures where you can find them. Escapism. Not only does it taste really good, it's the convenience. When you're poor, you don't really have time to prep and cook a meal. Especially those of us on overnight shifts. We work until we drop. Wake up. Get dressed. Grab food on the way to work and do it all over again. We're just tired and hungry lol. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.